Hey you fluffer schnoots, let's start the new year off with a bang by showing you my desktop. I actually used to do these types of videos more often back in the day and I haven't done one in a while. But the thing is, I've been on this distro for about a year if not more and I don't think I've really actually talked about it. So the first of the year and it seems like a great time to start logging things. So let's do it. So if you can't tell and I'm not sure how you could tell, well, I guess there's a little Debian logo on the bottom left. This is Debian testing, so Debian Bookworm. You don't often hear the code names for the testing distribution, but it's called Debian testing, and this is KDE. What KDE version is it? I actually don't know. KDE Plasma 5.26.4. The cute version is 5.15.7. Not gonna lie, I actually don't know what the latest version is. And I don't really care about that kind of stuff anymore. I kind of pick the distro that I want and I stick with it and it's Debian testing. Like I said, I've been on this since, is it 2001, August of 2001? I can't remember. I actually have a video planned to talk about all of the Linux distros that I've ever used up to this point. So it makes even more sense that I'm doing this now. I used to get more involved in the distro flame wars, for lack of a better term. I don't know what you'd call them. People say this distro is better. People say that distro is better. I don't really partake in those anymore because I know Debian and I know Debian very well. And I find that I'm just happier and more productive when I stick with what I know. So that's kind of why I've been on Debian. Now I landed on KDE because I came from Linux Mint with Cinnamon and I was using Cinnamon on some other distros before that, but this is KDE and the default KDE setup is very similar to Cinnamon and Budgie, which I was using before Cinnamon. So it's not necessarily that I just love KDE or cute, it's just like very modern. And look, you've got these thumbnails and you can resize it without it it being dramatic or anything. There's just like a lot of really good defaults that I like that you normally have to set up or it just even won't work. Like in, I had a lot of issues with the Matei desktop and it just not behaving the way that I wanted it to. And the cool thing about KDE is that if something doesn't work quite right, you want to change it. It's so configurable that you can, you can make Dolphin or whatever KDE app behave the way that you want it to. So yeah, it's Debian testing with KDE. It's a pretty standard Windows 10 style desktop. I don't really know what you'd call it. Windows 11 moved everything into the middle, right? So this is still on the left. Um, there's no like quick launchers or anything like that. Even the, even my favorites is, is very trimmed down as to like exactly what I need. Got all my games and stuff installed. The theme is just dark. What is this theme? Let's find out. I think that it's actually just the default dark theme. Yeah, it's Breeze Dark. And I made some changes to the window decorations. Was that in there? I think it was. Yeah, this is Materia Dark. I'm just not a huge fan of the Breeze decorations. You hover over them and they're round. I guess these are round too. Like, it's shaded though. It's just different. It feels more modern. And a cool thing about KDE now is the background changes the colors of the icons so like if I pick if I pick a different background it'll actually change like we'll pick Christmas party and when I close this and reopen it it will change the colors well it's supposed to <laughs> I tested this too and now suddenly it's not working but this is actually a great place to segue into some of the issues I've had with with uh, KDE and that KWIN crashes constantly it crashes so much that I actually wrote a script called fix panel that I use from time to time because sometimes it just crashes and I think it's just like one command but I have to I have to drop into a TTY and run this and it's basically killing the plasma shell and relaunching it but this fixes these these artifacts and things that happen but it, it happens constantly and it's it's frustrating i'm using nvidia but the thing is i'm using amd by default so like if i open nv top you can see there are two graphics devices amd built-in graphics and nvidia discrete graphics all right, is it discrete? I'm not sure. It's like on board. Anyways, it's dual graphics and I switch between them using the environment variables that you can set. But it looks like Kwin is actually using device zero. So Kwin is using AMD graphics. So that means it's using Mesa to render all of this. So a lot of times when there's there's issues with Kwin, the problem is coming from the Nvidia driver not working well with Kwin, but we're not even using Nvidia here and it still crashes constantly. 
But the thing of it is, I like KDE enough that I just kind of deal with it. So when, when it craps out, I switch to a TTY and I just run that script and then we're back in action. It's, it's very silly, but it is such a Linux thing. So what else can I show you? Um, how about, I use Nala. Have you guys seen Nala before? Nala is pretty cool. I'll do Nala like upgrade, update, whatever. Nala is kind of like a replacement for apt. Like it doesn't replace apt. I think it's actually a raptor on top, a raptor. It's a wrapper on top of apt. So when you run Nala, you're basically still running apt. But you can see that it presents all this information in, a, in just like a very aesthetically pleasing sort of way. And you can see what's being upgraded, what's being held back. It auto removes stuff by default with apt. That's a separate command you have to run. And uh, this is another great segue. You can see that it's removing wire plumber. And that's because before the stream yesterday, I was testing audio setups and I noticed that my voice audio through this microphone setup, it would always crack and pop when using pipe wire. So I did some debugging and I went back to Pulse Audio and I actually changed some of the default settings I'll show you in the daemon. I, I don't know if this is gonna matter to the, the mic input, but uh, PipeWire's pipe wire's input through OBS was, it, the quality was very bad and it was noticeable when I switched back to Pulse Audio for the, the live stream that I did yesterday. So one of the things I changed was sample. Uh, the resample message is speaks float five. And that was a recommendation from the Pulse Hi-Fi website, I think. And then I changed the sample format from S16 to S32 and the default sample rate from 44 to 96. So those are just some fun little Pulse Audio things I've changed. Uh, what else can I show you? I think that that actually wraps up. Did I do NeoFetch? I don't think I did. I'll, I'll leave things off on this NeoFetch. So there's your NeoFetch Debian GNU Linux bookworm slash SID. I think that that's just the, the OS signature. I don't, I don't think I have anything SID related on this, though I have messed with SID repos. I don't think I have any, any installed right now. It's kernel version 6.0. I've got... 3,000 deb packages, 60 flat packs, and five snaps. That's right, I am also using snap, mainly for, or actually only for VS Code, which is my text editor or a code editor of choice. But yeah, VS Code's my, my code editor. Uh, for folks interested, I like to write in Bash, Python, and Ruby. Ruby's probably my favorite language. Python is like my professional language, and Bash is just like a catch-all, can do anything very quickly sort of language. But yeah, it says that my shell is Bash, but it's actually Fish. Oh, console isn't, that's right. I, I've had this issue with console, where even though I'm overwriting the profile, it loses my profile. Like if I create a new profile and tell it to use fish instead, I mean, let's, let's try to do it right now. We'll call this profile fishy. We'll make it the default profile. This didn't work before. So maybe it'll work now because I'm recording. <laughs> so let's relaunch this. That was console. So we'll launch console and I don't think it saved it. So switch profile built in. Yeah, it's gone. So I, I mean, I just recorded this. Did you see what I did wrong? Did I, was there, did I not hit apply or something? That profile I just created is gone, which means this is using bash, but I like to use fish, which is what we're using here. But as you can see, the decorations are missing on GTK apps. I don't think that that's true with like Lutris, is it? Uh, it opened to the tray. Yeah, see, there you go. Lutris is, is working correctly, but Tilex isn't. I have no idea why. So it's, you know, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. I will say that my Cinnamon setup on Debian Stable, which was what I was using before, it was basically Linux Mint Debian Edition. That was definitely, like, all the decorations, everything worked right on there, and when I switched to KDE, uh, things kind of broke, but it's... It's not bad enough to, for me to like want to reinstall or anything like that. But yeah, I think that's where I am going to wrap this video up. So if you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I need to come up with a new outro. I think I'm just going to like wrap it up here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I guess I will see you next time. Bye-bye.